Okay, Coach Ryan, two dominating performances tonight. A couple guys short. Um, no Thomas Solo at 133. I was kind of anxious to look for that matchup between him and Tudor. That was a state finals match. Yeah, I think there's a lot of questions about Bo and Nate and, you know, us holding people out and dual meets this and dual meets that. It's all silly. Uh, you know, we wrestle people. Uh, dual meets are critical. Uh, we have a responsibility for the spectators to put our best people in the lineup. We feel that's a, that's our, that's a responsibility. Nate is not cleared to he is not cleared to wrestle yet. He will be at Vegas. That's the first event. 133. At 133 he'll be at Vegas. Bo, uh, as long as his, his wife uh, has the baby in the next few days, um, Bo will be wrestling at Vegas. And both of them will be wrestling at Vegas. So uh, they're just not ready. Both of them had surgery this summer. I mean, common sense prevails always. Why would you wrestle someone who, one, isn't cleared, or two, just got cleared and is not ready to compete at this level? You don't. So uh, as important as duels and your responsibility to the sport is, your first responsibility is to make sure that you take care of your guys. So Bo's have another kid. Yeah, Bo, yeah, Bo's, yeah, Bo's have another little girl, man. Uh, so yeah, we're excited for him. Uh, you know, he wanted her to have a little sister uh, close in age. So uh, it's awesome. In looking at it, um, you guys, you know, you come out here, you still, you still dominate, I think. You know, I mean, I mean was, listen, we, we came. There was a couple of big matchups, right? Fifty-seven was a big matchup. We lost. Uh, Jake lost to um, Sparkman. To Sparkman. Uh, Seventy-four was a big matchup with uh, with Williams uh, and, Gerard James. and Gerard James. So those are two of the big matchups, right? And uh, we lost both of them. So you look at you look at some things that went really well. And Colin Moore is scoring points left and right. He's, he's really special. Jose. Jose looks great. Points. He's doing a great, he did a great job with his weight. We knew Jose could wrestle. We, we watched him at 33 last year. But to have that type of energy at 25 is another story. That's a, that's a complete lifestyle issue. And and that's the biggest challenge for people in a college environment. Cutting weight is very difficult. And he's done a, a massive job at getting down to weight and having energy at the weight. So we're really, we're really excited about Jose. And then, of course, and then and then uh, Keyshawn. You know, Keyshawn, Jose, and and Colin, true for all freshmen, and you sprinkle in some sophomores and juniors. Things look good. You know, we're excited about this team. Uh, we know that Penn State team looks really potent. Iowa looks tough as heck. Oklahoma State, but uh, Missouri coming up. So, but we're excited about who we have and looking forward to wrestling all these teams. You guys are scoring. I saw. Uh, I counted four guys. Four different guys who scored over 20 points. Yeah. You know, Colin scored over 20 points. Yeah. Mick scored over 20 points. I think Jose scored yeah. over 20 points, and I think Keyshawn might even as well. What no, points on the board? Always preach that. That's been. I mean, that's that's ingrained. And in, and I can't. I don't know how many coaches. It's not ingrained in their mentality, right? I mean, the objective the objective is to shine. The objective is to make it about wrestling, right? Just keep scoring points. But it takes an athlete's mindset to believe that, right? You can share all you want, but when you have a group of people that, that believe that, uh, this, is what, this is what happens. The other thing we're seeing is up, up top, you got Bo, Miles, Colin, and, and Kyle Snyder. When you train with each other, uh, the amount of energy they cause each other to use uh, is is very intense in practice. And if you train at a higher level in practice than your opponent does, they're gonna have a hard time keeping up with you. And we're seeing that in the upper weights right now, as well as the lower weights, but really in the upper weights right now. Looking at Kyle, you know, he's people are celebrating him here. You know what I mean? The guy's going out, he's kissing babies, signing autographs, but he goes out and the output's the same yeah, no. or or more intense. He's such a mature kid. What he's done as, as a 20-year-old is incredible. Yeah. How do you, how, is that anything you do? Uh, he's, listen, man, this guy is so in love with what he does. I mean, deeply loves it. So the amount of suffering that he will endure is endless. So twice a day, all the time. He's extremely consistent with his thoughts. He's extremely consistent with his workload. He's extremely consi consistent with his nutrition. I mean, he just... And you see, I mean, he's, I mean, you look at, uh, we look at any any great one in the history, they were Michael Jordan in basketball or LeBron James in basketball. I mean, these guys, every time they bring it. And that's not easy to do, but Kyle does it. And uh, uh, we're fortunate that he chose to come back and continue to lead the Buckeyes. 165, that seems to be the only question in your lineup. Yeah, well, I mean, 65 is doing a really nice job. He did a heck of a job with Valencia last He's week. mean. He's really I mean, mean. He's, just, he's, just, he's got moves. 
He's yeah. got a lot of speed, so he can close ground really fast. Right? Uh, he's got a nice shot to the, to the, to the right leg. Uh, and he's really good on top. Mean. And he's, and he's tough. And he's yeah, tough. He's, he's, tough you know, he's the Northeast Ohio kid, you know? He's, 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 he's a Claymont boy, so he's, he's just tough. So He will be the guy, though. Right now, he's the guy. He looks really good. The cross effect no, challenge? You know, uh, uh, he is separating himself a little bit. Kresvik's doing a great job as well. Uh, you know, one up at Journeyman in New York. But right now, Cody has is, is, is separated himself a little bit from everybody else. I mean, right now, it's, it's Jake at 57. I mean, Jake's kind of in the basement, which is probably a good thing. Uh, get in the basement, now, now find a way to climb out. You got anything else for me? Uh, no, just great event. And, uh, you know, really, really, uh, you know, when you come to Northeast Ohio, you are reminded about the passion and love that is ingrained in the people in this region. Uh, they were here to see great wrestling, and it was, uh, it was a good night. Jim did a great job. Vegas next? Uh, Vegas next. Thanksgiving, they get to go home. I let them go home for four days. They'll come back, uh, and we'll get ready for Vegas. Picks on the game this weekend. Ohio State or Michigan? Michigan. <laughs> uh, Black guys by how much? I'd like it. I'd like it to be a very relaxing day. I want. I want. I want to score lots fast and early, uh, and then we can all relax and enjoy the game. You know. So uh, I don't know. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Uh, Twenty points. Twenty points. I'm gonna go twenty points, Buckeyes. All right. Good, good luck to you guys in Vegas. Thanks a lot.